we created a hidden room you can come into. Because what kid doesn't love to sleep in a hidden room? We're standing in front of the Sunset Beach Water Tower, which is a little bit of a misnomer. I'm standing in what's technically Seal Beach, California. So one of the big questions is, why are we filming a show on a water tower? It started about 1985, they were gonna decommission the water tower and completely tear it down. Trains had stopped running. And the question was, what do we do with a water tower that's used for water to put into trains? Well, the problem was the people of Sunset Beach really related to it as being the landmark. In fact, it was one of Southern California's very first landmarks. So in 1986, two junior college professors came in and converted it to a house. From then until 2017, much went unchanged in the tower, and that's when it was bought by myself and a partner, and we restored it to what we believe is its former glory. I'm Scott Oslin, and this is my Southern California historic and famous Clever Home. As we go through the tower, everything we tried to do is tell a story of the days that it was here. To my right is tools that we took and we put back in. The trains that would stop and fill up with water would often uh, develop uh, issues. And the linesmen would hang out around the water tower and use tools like this to go out and repair the water towers. We have to my left, Walter Tower, we call him, and we actually have 12 hidden Walters throughout the tower. So if you're here with your kids, you can go and hunt down the hidden Walters. But what's a water tower without water? So one of the big questions is, can you actually put a home in which was once a water tower? Will it support the weight of people? Water weighs about six pounds a gallon. So if you can imagine thousands of gallons of water above us, we did the math one time and there was something like 2,000 people that could fit uh, to be the equivalent of the water that this tower once held. Incredibly safe to hold people up top. Trains in the day carried two things, solids and liquids. Most of the solids were carried in burlap bags, legumes, peas, and the barrels would carry liquids. So we named this bathroom after the two things trains carried the most besides people, and that's barrels and burlap. We left this piece here, and it was the only original piece from the 1986 remodel. So you can, you can see the decor in 86 was a little bit different than the industrial design that we added today. Now, in honesty, uh, this piece, we just kind of forgot it and didn't see it. So we put a little plaque up and we say that we purposely uh, left it here. So don't tell anyone. A lot of people wonder where the pump is in the water house. There would have been a pump. And that pump was taken out a long time ago. We believe it was in a particular area of the house that we needed to use. Really too small for a bedroom. So we hid it back here and made a secret little bedroom I'll take you into now. So I grew up in the early 70s, and if you grew up in the early 70s, of course you watch Scooby-Doo, and in all Scooby-Doo's, or at least every other one in my opinion, there was a hidden room. As you come up in the hidden room, the question is, what do you do with it? In this case, we made it a little extra bedroom. When the water tower was first built, it was the tallest residential structure from ground to floor in all of America. Meaning, if you have an apartment up in the sky in New York, 300 feet, that doesn't count. Ground to floor, it was the tallest at almost 100 feet. There was a, a house now that was built taller in Prescott, Arizona, but it has nowhere near the views we have. I'm gonna go in the elevator and I'll let you take the stairs. We're now 70 feet in the air on the bottom of three floors of the water tower. So come outside for what we think is one of the best views in Southern California of its beaches. You can see as far south as Newport Beach and you can see north up to Long Beach, Palos Verdes and beyond. If you look straight out you can see Catalina, there's Avalon, two harbors. So this was a deck that would have existed when the original water tower was here. Sometimes the tower would sprinkle a leak and you'd have to repair it. So they built decks around the tower. This tower is now used as 360 degrees. Uh, that you can walk around the tower and see views of Southern California. There's a surf cam that hangs from the tower and shows how the surf is, so the local surfers will check out the cam and see how the waves are doing to come down and jump in for the day. This is the kitchen of the water tower, and we did a new design on old ideas in it. Uh, you can see some of this is actually tile, 
and some of it's wood from the original tower. So we had this sanded and redone, and this where you don't want a lot of porous material in a kitchen is actually a tile. You have all the modern amenities of today's kitchen, but in more of an industrial and throwback design. You know, as an investor, uh, you, you buy things to make money, um, and those are done, you hope, with your mind. And then there's some things you do with your heart. And so I speak a lot of this uh, house uh, as things that came from your childhood. So we put trains uh, that run throughout the ceiling of the house uh, that remind us of why the water tower is here. Throughout the water tower, we have some of the more famous cousins of the tower, the Eiffel Tower, the Seattle Space Needle. Oh. To my left is the uh, stairwell that takes you up through three stories. This stairwell reminds you of a ship. Everything has a little bit of an industrial and or nautical theme because we don't want to forget we're by the beach. So where we're standing would have been the bottom of thousands of gallons of water. Uh, now at the bottom of the tower you can go up and there's three levels of the home and water would have been filled in that entire area. The water tower was actually used and pulled off the base and remilled and put back into the home. In fact, when we redesigned it, we kept that same theory, taking out things and then refurbishing them and putting them back. California doesn't have the history of pirates that's as rich as the East Coast, but we do have a pirate, albeit just one. And this room's named after this famous pirate that came down less than a century before the first structure was built. This pirate named Hippolyte Bouchard attacked Monterey and then sailed down and attacked San Juan Capistrano. So we named the room after him and we went back to San Juan Capistrano in a place called The Barn and they sourced things that the pirates would have gone and attacked and we put those up in the rafters of this room along with the portrait of Hippolyte Bouchard himself. This is the first of two bedrooms on the second floor, come on in. This is 70 feet above the air, so it literally towers above all of the other homes. In this bedroom is something special, and that's a bathroom. I and mean, the walls revolve around the bathroom, and it creates two different bathrooms. These walls will spin, and a, a doorway opens, the doorway that you're seeing me from, or it can spin around and open through a hallway, so it's two bathrooms all in one. We're not going to spin the walls for now. We have them locked in place. The home's used as a vacation rental and we don't want anyone getting their hands hurt spinning it around. Everything is an ode to the circular nature of a water tower. This bathroom is round. Every piece of metal we put into it that's standing above me is round in its nature. We're now in the second bedroom on the second floor. Uh, this is a door that was actually used as a front door. In both bedrooms we have this door. It was uh, pretty badly warped. We straightened it out and tried to reuse it just like they did in 1986. What's great about living in a circular home is there's views everywhere. We're now 80 feet in the air, and this is one of two bedrooms that you can see. Panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean. To my left is a picture of the second tower. The tower's substructure is actually what we're standing over. And this is the tower, you can see the deck um, along the tower that they would have used, and we walked around on earlier to service that tower. We're now in the only room in the water tower that has no walls. In fact, it's the entire floor no walls and 360 degree views of all of Southern California. On a clear day, you can see the Hollywood sign. You can see some of the piers up and down the area. We put markers denoting all of the things. This one says Knott's Berry Farm, you can look out over. This one says Mount Baldy out in the distance. Anywhere you go in the room, you can look out and see a famous Southern California landmark. And we like that because we think this was one of Southern California's very first landmarks. And speaking of first, this is some of the first steel that was pulled out of the tower when we redesigned it. The salt air wreaks havoc on some of this metal. So in 2016, we went through and pulled out anything that had corrosion on it and replaced it with brand new steel and rebar. So if you're used to looking at a map, you see Southern California and you think of it as being west. The ocean certainly is west of California, uh, but there's a little trick and not a lot of people outside of Southern California know that our beaches really bend and they face south. So if you look at the beach, you would be inclined to think that it's west. To correctly acclimate yourself in the direction you're at at the tower, we had all of the wood placed to run it exactly north and south. And so if you follow this wood, you'll see that our beaches are really south facing and not to the west. And if you don't believe the way the wood faces, we placed a compass rose in the middle of the room. And wherever you are, you can see the way you face. So above me, you'll see a propeller. And some people ask, why a propeller? There was a night in 1941 where we thought we were under attack. When this happened, the water tower 
was feared to be an identifier to the Japanese that would have come in and attacked by plane. So the propeller that hangs above me is an ode to the pilots that stood by in Southern California to defend it from enemy attack. As a real estate investor, I buy mostly industrial buildings. And industrial buildings are almost a commodity. They're boring by nature and easy to value. You don't decorate them or remodel them. And so I have a weekend job and that's going out and buying famous structures like this and opening them to the public and enjoying them, using a little bit of the left brain and the design and ideas and stories that towers like this tell. So I hope you enjoyed spending the day here at the Water Tower. I know if I could spend any day, it would be here at the tower with some of the best views of all of Southern California. Thanks for watching.